Hello everybody and welcome back to another Disney Planes Diecast review. Today we will be taking a close look at one of the rarest Planes characters ever released by the Planes franchise on Cola Ivanov. Yes, I apologise that he does have quite some dents, but you know, I did get him from a bundle from, of course, a previous collector that used to play with their, of course, diecast cars and planes characters. We can see he's got this very nice paint job here, but we'll talk a little bit more later, of course, in his review. First of all, I've got to say, don't forget to subscribe to the Cars Diecast View channel if you like Disney planes and also Disney cars characters. You know, you don't want to miss out on reviews on your favourite characters. And this video has actually been recorded two weeks before its release. And I've been uploading daily ever since, of course, the 10th of February, even before then. But yeah, without further ado, let's get straight on to, of course, his releases. He was released twice, of course, back in the day when Planes was released. Once as a regular packaging, which is on your screen. And again, another, he was released from the Wings Around the Globe series back in 2015 I believe, correct me if I am wrong, I'm not an expert on this stuff, but I do know most things, I'm not a fan of the planes as such. But yeah, we can see the diecast here, we will talk about his movie scene after I review him. He's got this very nice working propeller as you can see here, pretty cool. I believe he is the Russian plane in the movie, hence why he's got red, white and blue. The red is on the teal wing back here. He's got a very nice expression with a black hood as well. Looks very nice, we can see the mouth there, and of course he's got the very nice blue striped, of course, wings as we can see here, with the yellow white here, and of course the dark purple and blue there too. It does look dark purple on your screen, but it might be of course blue. We can see the side, not too much to talk about, but he is the number 19 in the Wings Around the Globe series. Of course, I've got a plane currently on the way, and the time of recording this it is probably already here, and I've probably done the review on it, but you know... You you will get definitely get to see that with you on the plane when it does arrive just a few weeks later then I do get it. And here is the other side, there's not too much to talk about. Pretty much the exact same, like all die casts. And here is the base where you can see of course that little hole to connect him to the play sets that Mattel did release. And of course he's got the two wheels there, and of course we got the code. Of course he is being made in China. So now for his movie appearance, he did appear throughout the first Planes movie, and of course the only first Planes movie, because you know that's where he appears, he's racing next to Dusty Quad Popper, and of course a few other Planes, such as Seacord, or even Fonzarelli, even though Fonzarelli in the background here didn't actually appear in the Wings Around the Globe. There is a few other variations of this plane, such as Fonzarelli, like I did just mention like a few seconds ago. They are pretty much the same, of course the only difference is the number and the paint job, we can see, pretty nice. Comment down below which one of these two is your favourite, I definitely have to prefer Fonzarelli, only because he played much more of a bigger role. And then we got Seacord, the number 4 plane, as you can see here, again the exact same model, just a different paint job. And then we have LJ86 Special, which is a bit of a weird name if you ask me. But we do get to see, of course, him racing against Cola in the movie. Again, a same model. Well, I thank everybody for watching this far on the review of Kola Ivanov, the Russian plane from, of course, the Planes movie. Don't forget to subscribe to the Cars Diecast for your channel if you are new, and subscribe to one of my good friends, Collection TV. Till the next video, whichever character that might be on, maybe the Piston Cup Evolution, if that returns tomorrow. Depends on which character I want to review. It is up to me. But, you know, till the next video, peace, guys.